Hello, digital marketers. Today we are going to talk about seven key differences between Google Ads and DV360. If you are interested to learn DV360, this is the first video of the playlist where we have put together videos where we take you through step by step how to create, optimize and report campaigns on DV360 and other options available in DV360. Before we go and jump into differences, I want you to know there's something common about the two platforms. Both of these platforms the name was recently changed in the last one or two years. Google Ads was called AdWords before and Display and Video 360 was called DBM before, which is short for Double Click Bid Manager. If you do not already know, Google Ads is a platform which advertisers use to create different kind of campaigns and show ads on Google Search, other websites, apps, and YouTube, and even Gmail. However, Display when Video 360 is much more advanced option and it's a Google product as well, which gives you a lot of control in terms of how you buy inventory, which we will discuss in the next few slides. If we talk about who is this platform intended for or ideal for, now Google Ads is much more for end users or professionals which have small advertising budgets and anyone can go ahead and create a Google Ad account and start creating the campaigns. However, DV360 is intended for big companies and advertising agencies. To have a DV360 account, an advertiser or an agency needs to have a minimum budget spent in last one year so that they can qualify to get an account. Unlike Google Ads, you cannot just go ahead and create an account. To create a DV360 account, you actually need to reach out to Google or any authorized reseller so that they can create an account for you and you can start using. If we talk about the campaign type, in Google Ads you can run search, shopping, display, Gmail and YouTube campaigns. However, in DV360 you cannot run search and shopping ads but you can also run video and audio campaigns. Please do not confuse video campaigns with YouTube. YouTube is a separate campaign type. However, videos is in case you upload a video file and then you can advertise it on different websites and apps. Which brings us to the third point, which is reach. In terms of Google Ads, whenever you create display campaigns, they only are shown on GDN or Google Display Network. If you're wondering what Google Display Network is, so whenever there is a website, whether it's a small or big, they always have to monetize their website. All the publishers who have signed up with AdSense, which is a Google product, in order to get monetized, is called Google Display Network, which means where Google has control to show ads. Whenever you create a display campaign in Google Ads, your ads can only appear on this list of websites who have partnered with Google, which is called Google Display Network. However, in case of DV360, your ads can appear almost on 90% of the websites and the apps because DV360 does not only buy ads on Google Display Networks, but on other ad exchanges and ad networks as well. Almost all ad networks and ad exchanges are connected to DV360. Along with all these websites and apps on and different ad networks, DV360 can buy inventory on OTT platforms like on-demand TV and live streaming TV channels as well. Which brings us to the fourth point, which is placement selection. Placement selection is the control an advertiser has when creating a campaign that which websites and apps his ad should be shown to. Now, in case of Google Ads, Advertisers do not get much of an option. However, they have a control where they can select a list of websites or apps where they want to advertise only if they want to. Please note, these websites and apps they want to advertise on have to be part of GDN. However, in case of DV360, you can select any website or app in the world and there is a chance that your campaigns will show there. Along with this, there are three different types of inventory buys that are done in DV360. One is open auction. It's just like Google Ads, but the reach is much more wider as we discussed in the last point. And additional to selecting a particular list of websites and apps, you can select a categories of websites. For example, you can say, okay, my ad should be shown on all websites which are related to sports or news or entertainment or a particular category of your choice. Now, along with this, there are two other types of media buys you can do in TV360. One of them is private marketplace, which means websites like BBC, Khalish Times, on certain inventory, they allow only few advertisers to buy inventory. If you want to be among the list of the advertisers, you'd have to approach to these websites and you have to ask them to provide you a PMP deal where you can compete with just a few advertisers 
advertisers to buy that inventory. The third one is programmatic guarantee deals. It's just like a conventional deal where you reach out to a particular publisher and ask them, I want to book a fixed number of impressions in a particular time range. And you have a deal with this publisher where they guarantee you a certain number of impressions with particular presets. If you want to learn more about different options, how we can buy inventory in DV360 and what are the different inventory types available in programmatic advertising we have a dedicated video for programmatic advertising for which i'll put, put the link below in the description now if we talk about the fifth difference which is audience targeting now first thing to understand here is audience targeting is one of the most important aspects of any digital marketing campaign in the current scenario we are in there is millions of devices connected to the internet so it becomes very important to understand which audiences to go after and which audiences should not be eligible to see your ads. In case of Google ads, you have access to only Google affinity audience and Google in market audience. For example, if I watch a lot of football videos on YouTube, Google will flag me as affinity towards football. But if I'm looking to buy a football, I'm researching about footballs to buy and going to e-commerce websites to buy footballs, Google will flag me as in-market foot footballs. Now, these two options are available in DV360 as well, but along with it, there is another option which is third-party audiences. There are a lot of companies like Oracle who partner with different companies to collect data and user behavior and then sell it to the advertisers. You can only leverage these audiences if you are using DV360 and not in Google Ads. Now, when it comes to integrations, Google Ads does not really support any integrations for audience targeting and ad servers. Now, in case of DV360, you can integrate your DV360 account with different DMPs. Now, DMP is short for data management platforms. Now, as discussed in the last slide, companies like Oracle, they partner with companies like Booking.com, MasterCard, Netflix to collect user behavior, how they behave online and what all they do. Then they compile this data together and provide this data for advertisers in platforms which are called DMPs. Now, if you are an agency or you have access to DMP, you can integrate your DMP with DV360, which is not possible in Google Ads. When it comes to integration with DCM, now DCM is an ad server by double click, which is again Google. In some cases, the big advertisers do not provide the creative assets directly to the advertising agencies or publishers. They have an ad server where they store all their creative assets and provide the respective tags for each of these assets to the publishers or advertising agencies. This gives them better control in terms of tracking, reporting, as well as making changes to the creative assets. Now the seventh difference they have is Google Ads is Google's own creation. It was developed by Google. However, Google acquired DoubleClick in 2008. DoubleClick was a different company who had a stack of marketing uh, platforms like DoubleClick Bid Manager, DoubleClick for advertisers, DoubleClick for publishers. So Google acquired DoubleClick as a company in 2008 just like they did with YouTube. Do not forget to check the link in the description for this playlist where we take you through DV360 reporting, campaign creation and optimization step by step. If you have any feedback, please comment below. And also, if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel as it really helps in the algorithm. I will see you in the next one.